that pace. When I, I read about the challenge, I thought, mm, that's, that's definitely a, a daunting challenge for someone. And then when I saw that final caveat, sub seven minutes, I thought, oh, I got to meet this guy. And I mean, I was so inspired uh, by the whole package of what you're doing. Yeah. Reading at the time, the only, the only running magazine in the world, Track and Field News. I hadn't heard about this young kid. And Dave said, you're going to start a magazine. What do you know about uh, publishing a magazine? I said, really nothing. Runner's World's vision grew and grew and grew over the years to reach out to everybody. Uh, a lot of little people don't run. Sometimes they're told by their doctor it's not a, a great form of exercise. But I found it to be an amazing thing for me to do. 64 years of age, 50 races in a year, your average time sub seven minutes per mile. That's phenomenal. This sport is for everyone. And, and that everyone has potential and can build their heart and, and kind of, I don't know how to describe it even, what, do your best. It's a very simple thing. The reality is if you're a homo sapien, you're a runner, like you're meant to do it. It's completely natural for all of us and we all can be good at it and I firmly believe that. Five years I was over 300 pounds. Running pretty much has changed my life. Uh, most of my friends are now runners. Uh, runners, are the, <laughs> runners are the greatest people in the world. That is like the best question anybody's ever asked me because I don't know what I'd have uh, if I hadn't started running. Just literally, I would say within months of taking my first step, I was absolutely, totally addicted to running. Running was my life in 1962 and still is my life now. Yeah.